The East Noble School Corporation held a meeting tonight to address concerns about inappropriate behavior and bullying. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday attended that meeting tonight. So what prompted this, Lamar? Well, Heather, after an East Side or East Noble High School student committed suicide, the district superintendent says she got numerous emails and calls about bullying in the schools. Even though an investigation didn't find any evidence that the student was bullied, leaders still took time to address the parents' problems. Leaders at East Noble High School have been combating rumors that 16-year-old Chase Brown killed himself because of bullying. Their investigation found no proof of that, but parents wanted proof that their students are safe in their school district. We've been hearing some uh, comments, concerns, questions about the potential of bullying and some other issues. Issues the school district faced head-on this evening at East Noble High School. Parents and students got to take a survey about the school environments at all East Noble School Corporation schools, and they went over the results. I think it's very proactive to bring together the families, the teachers, the community um, to help with the safety of our children. To be able to have this opportunity to speak to other parents and see if you know what I'm thinking and feeling is the same as what they're thinking and feeling is is good. It's kind of uh, rewarding. After going over those results, that's when parents and students got to share their concerns and issues with faculty in a roundtable discussion. Superintendent Ann Linson says all faculty members took notes and will take what they learned tonight and find better ways to address inappropriate behavior and bullying. But mom, Melissa Carpenter, says she's going to take the extra mile to make sure her child is safe. Even though I feel like I'm really involved in my child's life, to really take that extra step to make sure that we're aware and we know what's going on and that uh, we report it if there's a problem. Out of nearly 2,400 parents in the school district, only over 100 took time to fill it out. And Principal Peterson says if parents and students don't speak up, schools really don't know what's going on and they think everything is okay. So we have posted the link to the survey on our website if you'd like to fill it out. So if there's a problem, you have to speak up. That's right. Okay, thanks, Lamar.